we don't know a lot about in the West. It's overwhelming when you get here, the size, the scope, the magnitude, uh, and then it's been hidden. July 7, in 1937, Japanese army uh, started a comprehensive invasion of China and that started officially the Second World War in Asia. To actually see the bones of people murdered, butchered like that, it was a very uh, chilling moment. It doesn't matter how much reading you do. <laughs> it's just not... You can't prepare for this. The gray darkness and it seemed like such an immoral place. It must have been a very terrible place for the victims to know they would never leave. Those people in 731 were butchered and then the Japanese ran and they, they hid it. Imagine if we didn't know that. The degree of cruelty when it's put forward in front of you like that. And in teaching, often you try to avoid that. And when I've done that, kids have come to me afterwards and told me that they need to see that. I suppose it's to validate the work. And, uh, you know, Nanjing doesn't hold anything back now. Most of those doctors and scientists were never punished. They went back to good careers. In fact, they probably got better jobs because of the knowledge they had. To hear a person speak, you really see if their words are, are more important than anything else. If they just tell you about what happened in their room or in their courtyard, that is worth more than just reading about the whole thing in a book. It was made more real to me because it's really hard to imagine living in those times and having had experience that. The most violent thing is after they raped a woman, they would use a bamboo stick. I just can't imagine the atrocities. Every Wednesday, come years and years, just having a presence here in front of the Japanese embassy. 행복스러운 나라를 내면 전쟁 없어야 할 테니까 올로올롱 진실 밝히고 우리 싸움 없는 나라에서 재미나게 좀 살다 갑시다. 고맙습니다. When I was watching the survivors, I was thinking. They're almost all gone. 
왜 지금에 와서 할머니들 다 죽기를 기다리고 나 영화 꼭 하고 싶어요. 저는 이만큼은 끝이겠는데 여러분들 이런 줄 알고 이런 사람들이 이렇게 우리를 가지다 좋은 일 하나 이렇게 했습니다. 어찌나 할머니들 죽기 전에 좀 배상해주라고 조금 도와주세요. 